everyone, today I'm going to show you how to upload a document. Now to upload a document, we're going to go on to Leads and Consumers and search for the consumer we're going to be uploading the document for. Once we have found our consumer, we're going to click on Documents. Here in the Documents, we're going to find the section where it says Add Documents. Now when you're uploading documents, the files can be in a PDF format, a JPEG format, a GFI format, or a PNG format. Again, that's PDF, JPG, GIF, and PNG. Those are the only formats that are allowed for you to upload inside the system. So what you're going to do in the title, you're going to give the name of the document you're uploading. Let's say I'm going to upload an ID. So I'm going to put in the title. And then here in the document type, you're going to click the drop down and choose between the different types that we have here. Now, just a quick reminder, anything that you upload in proof of identity, proof of residence, proof of social security, proof of address, supporting docs, documents, and combined will all be added on to the letter. So by saying this, what this means is once the letters are created and you're printing out the letters, anything that's in these categories are going to be added on that, to that letter. So that way when you print your PDF of your letter, it includes all the documentations that are needed to be printed out and mailed out with the letter. So make sure that anything that you upload that you want to be added to the letter is in any of the first categories that you see here from proof of identity all the way to combined. If by any chance you want to upload a credit report or any documentation that is not necessarily has to be added on to the letter, you're going to make sure you upload them in other. By uploading them in other, what it's letting the system know that that document does not need to be added on to the letter. Please do not add the credit report under supporting documents because if you do add it in the supporting documents, when you print out the letter, the credit report would be added on to it and we wouldn't want that. So make sure it's under other. In this particular case, since I'm going to upload an ID, I'm going to choose proof of identity. Once I've chosen it, I'm going to click select the file, search in my computer for my document. Once I have selected it, I'm going to click open. And then I'm going to click save. Once I've done that, you're going to see that the document has been saved and it has been uploaded. Now there is another particular way you can add in a document is by going to the document section here. So I'm going to go right back to our dashboard and we're in, when we're in our dashboard section, so if you were to log into your portal, you would see your dashboard and we're going to go down all the way till we find documents. We click on documents. Once we're here, we're going to perform the same step. The only thing that's different is here we have to choose the consumer's name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a title. In this particular case, I'm going to upload another ID. Now I'm going to search for the consumer in the database to which particular ID this belongs to. Once I've chosen my consumer, in the document type, the same thing. When I click the drop down, I'm going to choose the correct document type, proof of identity. And then here I'm going to click select the file, choose the document, click open, and then save. And then what will the system do is it'll save that specific document under the consumer that we have selected. And that's how you would upload a document into the system.